So, with this video, we're, we're taking a little change of tack. Just out of curiosity, we've gone back to PewDiePie's very first uploads in 2010. And we're just trying to analyse what, uh, if we can, what sent him into the stratosphere of... Is this his very first ever video? Of internet star. Uh, this YouTube can't be his first ever video, because Minecraft wasn't around back then. Um, which is literally just him giggling and laughing and you can't understand anything he's saying, which is that's fine, but... I'm assuming the 80 million views is us, is people like us going back to see what his very first video was. And then it'll drop right down. Yeah. 5 million views. His Call of Duty videos. Let's see if he's done. Um, and he's said on amnesia and shit. Yeah, well, it's hard to understand exactly where that splooge happened of followers because this is all people doing what they're doing. Well, what was PewDiePie like in the beginning? But, but uh, even back then, when, when this type of video, these videos started coming out on YouTube, it's like, it takes a certain type of person to watch this. Because it's, well, maybe in the beginning it was just a bunch of his friends. Yeah, I don't know. But, no, but like, I just mean when it became popular, it's like, it's, I don't know, it's, 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 it's an expression of the autistic world, really. The fact that this guy... It's stream, it's stream of consciousness that doesn't really ever have much to say. It's just a constant, like, yeah. verbal diarrhea. Yeah. It's like comfort. It's like it, it, people get a weird comfort out of watching it. Oh, there'd be millions and millions of kids back in the day when, when it was, like, the height of PewDiePie that thought he was, like, their friend. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. They tune in, he's their friend. It's super weird. Oh, it's, it's reeks of social isolation and playing too many multiplayer, yeah. anonymous multiplayer It's games. an expression of like a broken world and broken people. Yeah, broken, uh, broken teenagers. Yeah. Broken kids. It's like, to act like this This is a like a positive expression of like progress and like humanity. It's like, oh, this is cool. Man, I, have, I just, I hate, hate online multiplayer shooters. They're the worst. Yeah, the worst for that and like World of Warcraft and Minecraft. Yeah. I've 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 sunk like over two thousand hours into these online shooters, and it, it's just like a repetitive brain um, trap. I enjoy like, doing this. I enjoy this cortisol dopamine loop. Yeah, if you kill someone. Yeah, and then like a rage loop as well, and like you just keep going back to it. You get sick of it, and you keep going back to it, and then you have one good game, and then you go, oh, oh and I you thankfully know. never got good enough of headshots to ever yeah. play these games. Yeah, it's like it's pretty depressing. Uh, you, you need to get good at headshots. That's how you. That's the only way you enjoy these Absolutely. games. Absolutely, because you you learn that. Oh, okay. I just got, I just shot his body, and um, yeah, you know, it's not like the real world where you shoot, you shoot you have someone through, through the heart, and they don't they don't die. In this case, you have to pinpoint the head, which is often just like one pixel on the screen. So anyway, yeah, I don't know what PewDiePie's going on about. He just seems to be rambling. It's like a comfort thing at that point. Yeah, it? and then he does a bunch of. Call of Duty, my, uh, and then Minecraft. Let's have a quick double check on his Minecraft autism. I mean, the, also, the, it's like he has to have some sort of level of asperges and autism to be, because like what he's conveying in these videos is like pure enjoyment of this stuff. Like he's playing this game and pure yeah, enjoying it. I think that's why he got so popular because he, he was in pure autism. joy of of the gaming experience, which is yeah, in Minecraft especially. I don't understand how people enjoy this. Like to run around in this at any age, like no, not if you're a kid, I understand. But if you're a young adult, and you're running around yeah. playing this game like a little kid, like oh, I know, I'm having fun like a child. It means you're a little bit retarded. I just. Like, I just don't get it. Oh, but he still, that's the thing, he still does Minecraft playthroughs now, and yeah. he plays it with the exact same energy. It's like, I'm making up stuff and I'm having a little make believe time. I'm a little child. And it's just like, it's, I can't relate to that as a fully, fully grown adult. I want to think Minecraft appeals to people who um, can never really be creative themselves, but they, it gives you this illusion of like exploration and creation. Yeah. You know, you can knock blocks and make tunnels and. Make nonsense. It's just, I never understood it, so whatever. Um, here we go. This is where the, the uh, I think, legit, because look, look, it's quite clear. 80 million people came to watch this very first video. Yeah. And that drop, that starts dropping down. 
dropping down into hundreds of thousands of views. Yeah. And then you start getting the organic amnesia views back in the day when he started to get traction with his amnesia playthroughs because they were funny. Yeah. Um, they were funny. I remember laughing a lot at some of these because he's screaming like a little girl. And it's, it's just kind of fun. And amnesia back in the, in the day of 2010, that was a, it was a scary game. Probably wouldn't be considered so scary now. I think I tried to replay it a year ago and it was like, no, nah, it's pretty dated, not really, you know, having an impact on me. But I'm older as well, probably harder to scare. Yeah, it's not. It's not a, um, Jesus, I don't know what's going on in this video though. There's nothing in it. It's a nothing video. What? Because he's screaming, he's got skin, skin. Yeah. Oh. There's really nothing, there's nothing happening in that one. Uh, Six scariest yeah. moment, 725 there to the left. What? What? 725 on the left. Oh, that one. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember this, I think I remember this. Yeah, I never, basically, I never really understood why he became so popular. I think it's just the sheer volume. Once he got popular, he just uploaded such a constant stream daily of, of internet trash. Yeah. And once you once you are the biggest YouTuber, it's kind of like you stay there. Oh, and then all you have to do is upload, and upload low effort vlogs and rambles and yeah. whatever. It's very simple. Well, it just becomes impossible to actually keep up with the daily schedule unless you start doing commentary videos on nonsense. Yeah, yeah. Like meme reviews. Yeah, for instance. And that's what he does, he does meme reviews and which so well, actually an, an absolute waste of time. Also like I've I've watched like you watch um popular reality T V trash shows, which I've i like I went through a patch where I was like like needed videos to watch while I'm eating something. Uh, and he just watched all these like um I can't remember what it was, it was like uh it's about people who get like married to people overseas. Yeah. Like just and he's just laughing at it. Yeah, he's just watching the whole thing and reacting to it, and it's enjoyable. Yeah. It's like you're watching it with someone. It's long effort. Yeah. Get it? You can. Just, he can do it while he's having his lunch. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, it's just a weird thing to be to have, to have that pressure that basically your only income stream is, and it might be quite a good income stream, but it's just coming from these commentary videos. Yeah. And then what happens as you get older, I mean, you keep your fan base from, because they're getting older with you, you keep heaps of them. Yeah. But the new kids, you're going to reach a point where you're too old to appeal to, like, little 12-year-olds. Yeah, but he's done a good, he's done a good, uh, he's done a good job of, like, keeping his content juvenile. Oh, he definitely done that. Yes, so he tried to mature it. Yeah. So he gets, he gets the new crap, new, new crop as well. Well, he's got 109 million subscribers. I don't know if that's, like, less or more than last year. How many subscribers? 109. Oh, way more. He's snowballing. That's crazy. 109? But uh, yeah, these were the ones we watched and had a good laugh. They're kind of unwatchable now. There's like no real pacing. Or it's, you, just, you literally just have to follow along. I guess that's, uh, that's kind of what a playthrough is. But I always thought he didn't really have like a hosting. He had no concept of hosting. Or breaking down his opinions on the game, it was just literally like this kind of like childish gibberish. Yeah, and well, and that's the thing. Once, once, once the popularity is solidified, then you do. So he, he then started having to become a character and introducing himself and his personality to his audience. Seven years ago, it's just the randomness of things, isn't it? It's the love of randomness. Twenty thirteen. But that's old PewDiePie, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's 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 the kind of original uh, version one PewDiePie, which was which is essentially just like sharing my retarded personality. Yeah, it's my autism. Like he's being a. I'm I'm I'm, I'm not ashamed of my autistic personality. Yeah, yeah. he's just being a weird little effeminate soy boy. No, you're not again. 
that's the problem. My it's, arm is there. It's, it's it. empire is actually built on soy. Yes. It's soy it's, slash water. It's a it? soy empire. Yeah. Um, that's why it's so popular. There's so much. There's so many soy boys. Yeah, yeah, that, that explains a lot of it, really. And um, and but would he would he be the biggest channel on YouTube? Yeah, he is. Yeah, hundred and nine million. That that um that actually sums it up. The that is what Pootie Pie is. It's an empire built on soy. Yeah. That's what it is. He did, well, he did. He went through this little phase where he tried to do kind of slightly edgy stuff. Yeah, and then got hit badly. But but it's funny that throughout the whole, no matter what type of like growth he's gone through or like style, slight style changes he's done in his channel, he's been consistently low T soy boy the whole way through. It's his brain. That's that's that, and, and that's why he's so successful because there's so many low T soy boys in the whole world. It's a plague. Even that, it also takes a particular type of of um. Of adult to be able to like, and it's it's representative of my story again, to be able to like get in front of a camera and like candidly share like your feelings and like talk to a camera and an audience as if like you know them. Yeah, but that's just like heaps of um. Sort of yeah, yeah, it's bizarre. But it's like I could never, I could never do that. A normal adult couldn't do that. Well, they're not my friends. I don't know. So it's like you'd be like, oh, this is. Not, it doesn't come naturally. To an adult with high testosterone levels, it's, it's quite strange. Well, it kind of it's part of the formula that you have to have. Because they want to have that feeling of like I'm connected with this person. Yeah, it's a it, it's a collective cult of low soy. Yeah, and they all reinforce each other, and they don't challenge each other to get out of this. Like, who did Clyde will do this for him because he's financially incentivized to do it? Well, I remember we used to talk about how, isn't it amazing, PewDiePie must have access to millions at least now. Mm. And he doesn't found a game company. He loves playing them so much, but he doesn't found, like, a game maker studio. No, but he, he releases crappy little low effort games. So, yeah, he's got heaps of, heaps of low effort games that he's trying to He's got it on his channel, like, I think I have about um, PewDiePie makes a game. Just type it into Google, PewDiePie. Hey, I'm still processing. Ah, ah. Okay. Oh, and you're burning. Welcome to my game. Which he paid someone to make. Oh, yeah, I, I got no problem with doing that. That's what I'm saying. Well, he has his moves. Why hasn't he tried becoming a game, you know, developer? And if that means hiring other people, that's fine. And you brought something just... Loving it. I've been loving I'm kind of curious to see what this game is. It's already breaking its way. It's horrific. It's a child's game. Uh, but I bet it doesn't get played that much, even though it's got that much followers. Oh, no. it's, not, it's, not a, it's not a game. It's, a, it's just a cash grab. It's not really what I'm talking about. Yeah, he's not really making a game studio. It's, just, no, it's, a, it's a cash grab. It's I have popularity and a very dumb consumer base who will buy this crap. Um, that's the state of things. You get you get hundreds and hundreds of millions of bored kids watching this trash, and that's fine. That's it is what it is. <laughs> Nothing more to be that's said. That's all it is. That's all it is. It's fine.